call myself a broken African preacher. I am not even qualified for this ministry, for this job, because I have myself, I didn't have anything. But God saw my heart. It reminds me of Isaiah. God echoes a question through eternity. Whom shall I say? Who will go for us? Well, in my case, I was available to go. That's all I had. I've been is real, and the problems are even real. They live in open warehouses, no insulation, no running water, no electricity. I've been to different countries, in Africa, in Europe, in America here. But this is the toughest ever. My graduation day at the seminary, Pittsburgh Seminary, and they play this song, Here I Am, Lord. It's a mission song. That's the first time I heard it. And it really touched my heart. As we sang that song on our graduation day, they were sending us out into the world, you know, to change the world through the gospel of Jesus Christ. So that song became, has been really part of my life for many years. And then when I was about to go to Albania, God gave me that song. And I listened to that song and I was crying. Praying to God, crying out while that song was playing. And God said to me through that song, when you go to Albania, carry those people in your heart. Because the song says, I will carry them in my heart. And I'll be a light to them. A light to them. And that's what I did. I prayed, God, let me carry the people of Albania and the country of Albania in my heart and i said to god here i am send me i have nothing i am nothing but if you can use nothing then use me and with that attitude he sent me to albania to bring the light of the gospel of jesus christ to them bring hope bring salvation and transform their lives i came back to the states thinking maybe I may not even go back because I said this is too much for me to handle. The mindset of the people, the poverty, the cost of living, the way of life. I said, God, why did you send me here of all places? I remember God spoke to me in my heart. <laughs> he said, if I succeed in Albania with my ministry, I will succeed anywhere in the world. In six months, we saw miracles happen like never before. And what God did with Holy Ghost Fire Church in Albania, in six months, it has never happened before in the history of Albania. Never. What? I live with them, we ate together, we cried together, we did everything together in common. And they told me, no missionary has ever loved them the way I love them. One of the strongholds in Albania is fear and, and worry, fear of starving, constant fear of I'm not able to fulfill their destiny. The pastor's wife, I said, go open the fridge and what do you see? And she sometimes tells me, oh, there's nothing in the fridge. Oh, no, open again. What do you see? Oh, okay, I see food. Very good. We will not have food. Through the Spirit Life Bible School, through the church, we are raising a new generation of Albanians. June 20th, Mediterranean Sea, over about 100 people gave their life to Christ in six months. 
that has never happened before in Albania. This ministry belongs to him. Albania belongs to Jesus. The people of Albania belongs to Jesus. And he will change Albania one village at a time. Amen.